One of our subscribers and fans invited us to review and take a look at their setup here. These are 12 monocrystallines half cut and they're pushing out about 6 kilowatt. It's an oversized system for this house so they paid um, more than they should have because 75% of what is being generated is being exported to the grid. So that's why work out what is your demand. You don't need to buy an oversized system because you are not going to be compensated adequately from ESCOM for whatever is exported. Let's take a look at the inverter and the battery setup inside. Okay, let's look at what we've got here. We've got two times 100 amp hour N energy batteries. New energy, new life. I haven't heard of it. So let me know in the comments below what your experience have been if you've used them. We've got a Daya inverter and this is an 8 kilowatt inverter. It's one of the big ones. It can power geysers and basically an entire house and it's got a nice lcd screen here okay so it gives you what you would pretty much see on your app your solar generation and right now it's 4.3 kilowatts what is being exported to the grid it's a touch screen as well so we got 2.4 kilowatts being exported to the grid and we got 1.6 consumed by the house and the battery is sitting at 100 percent you can go through settings as well and change your settings and so on We've got the Wi-Fi dongle and some nice trunking, concealing all the cabling. And what I notice about the LCD here is it's very similar to the, the SA Lithium battery LCD. It gives you pretty much the same sort of settings here. In my opinion, I believe that a 5 kilowatt system would have worked here adequately. Yeah, so I think that for looking at how much is being exported, this is an oversized system perhaps eight panels would have been adequate and a 5000 watt system if you got the money to spend then go for an oversized system but if you want if you're running on a tight budget and you want to save then the 5000 watt would have been fine with say about eight panels i haven't seen a sun sink in in the skin but the chassis is, is the same and what i believe is that um, apparently they they white labeled so Effectively, they're the same machine, but they just have a different name here. And uh, from the labeling and all of that, they're pretty much uh, the same machine. The fan just came on now. Another difference between the Goodwee and the, the Sunsinks is that the Goodwee is fanless. It doesn't have any any fans, so the fans are all, of, all here on this side. There's all the fans here. And the fans come off uh, when it's under some load, but I'm not sure. Let's take a look at the LCD. We still got 4.2 kilowatts coming through from the panels and 1.6 still coming through so it's probably due to the handling all that power and energy from the panels and doing the export because the load to the house is is pretty insignificant so let me know what your experience has been with the sunsink or the daya and um, thank you for watching